During taxi, the approaching runway callout advises the pilot as they approach a runway. Approaching zero, one, left. This is especially useful when the aircraft is entering the runway from an intersection. This advisory is a function of the ground speed, track, and nearest runway and will be issued earlier if the aircraft is taxiing at a higher speed. However, it does not ensure that the aircraft can or will be stopped before the hold short line. This advisory is inhibited above 40 knots to prevent distractions during takeoff and landing. The on-runway callout advises the pilot that they are on a runway and the aircraft is within 20 degrees of the runway heading. On runway zero, one, left. Again, this is especially useful when taking off from an intersection or when operating in an airport with parallel runways. Improper flap position is a leading cause of rejected takeoffs and is most common during cold weather operations where aircraft de-icing procedures require the crew to delay flap extension during taxi. This callout is issued when the aircraft is within 20 degrees of a runway center line and the flaps are not in the takeoff configuration. On runway zero, seven, left. Flaps, flaps. As this alert occurs immediately on runway alignment and before application of takeoff thrust, a rejected takeoff can be avoided, saving operational time and expense. This advisory serves as a reminder that the aircraft is holding on a runway. The advisory is issued when the aircraft is on a runway, within 20 degrees of the runway heading, and has been holding in position for an extended period of time. On runway zero, seven, left. On runway zero, seven, left. If the aircraft continues holding in position, the advisory is repeated after a predefined time interval. On runway zero, seven, left. On runway zero, seven, left. The initial and repeat time intervals can be set by the operator. The insufficient runway length advisory is useful when taking off from an intersection or operating at an airport with parallel or intersecting runways, especially where one runway is considerably shorter than the other. The insufficient runway length advisory is issued when the aircraft is on a runway and within 20 degrees of the runway heading, and the available runway length is marginal for a normal takeoff. On runway 3, 1, right, 3,600 feet remaining. The operator can define the length in feet or meters. The short runway caution is used when attempting to take off from a runway that may not be long enough for a normal takeoff. Caution, short runway, short runway. This advisory is issued when the aircraft is on a runway and within 20 degrees of the runway heading. The available runway length is marginal for a takeoff and the ground speed is greater than 40 knots. The operator can define the length in feet or meters. The distance remaining advisories during a rejected takeoff provide a pilot with continuous awareness of the remaining runway distance. These advisories will be heard if the aircraft has accelerated to more than 40 knots and aborts the takeoff. The aircraft must decelerate at least seven knots. 2,000 feet remaining. The advisories will continue as long as the ground speed is greater than 40 knots. 1,000 remaining. 500 remaining. The callouts are configurable, 
based on maximum distance and do not ensure that the aircraft can or will be stopped before the end of the runway. If the aircraft is stopped on the runway, the extended holding call is disabled. This advisory is designed to prevent an inadvertent takeoff from a taxiway. On taxiway, on taxiway. The advisory is issued when the aircraft ground speed exceeds 40 knots and the aircraft is not on a runway. If desired, this callout can be configured as a caution alert. Caution, on taxiway, on taxiway. This advisory tells you if the runway you are approaching is shorter than normal and is especially helpful when flying approaches to airports with parallel or multiple runways. The advisory is issued when all of the criteria are met for the approaching runway during landing advisory and the runway length is marginal for a normal landing. Approaching 2-0 left, 2,900 feet available. The operator can define the nominal length in feet or meters. This alert is issued when the aircraft is on an approach to a runway that is too short for a normal landing and is especially useful when flying approaches to airports with parallel or multiple runways. The alert is issued between 450 and 300 feet above field elevation when the aircraft is approximately within three miles of the runway. The aircraft track must be aligned within 20 degrees of the runway and be within approximately 200 feet plus the runway width of the runway center line. Caution, short runway, short runway. All other EGPWS alerts have priority over this alert. Some airports have had multiple large passenger aircraft mistakenly land on a taxiway. This advisory is designed to prevent an inadvertent taxiway landing and is issued between 250 and 150 feet AGL when the aircraft is not aligned with the runway. This advisory is not available below 150 feet AGL, and all other EGPWS alerts have priority. Caution, taxiway! Caution, taxiway! The distance remaining advisory provides pilots with an all row indication of how much runway is left during a landing and rollout. This advisory is activated when the aircraft is below 100 feet radio altitude during the last half of the runway and the ground speed is greater than 40 knots. 3,000 remaining. 2,000 remaining. The distance remaining callouts are useful to pilots during reduced visibility or on wet runways and help avoid runway overruns. 1,000 remaining. 500 remaining. These callouts are customer configurable based on max distance and do not ensure the aircraft can or will be stopped before the end of the runway. This advisory also provides pilots with valuable information about how much runway is left in the event of a float or long landing. 4,000 remaining. 3,000 remaining. These advisories are silenced during a go-around with a climb rate greater than 450 feet per minute above 100 feet. This callout alerts the pilot that the aircraft is approaching the end of the runway and can be useful during taxi or landing rollout and reduced visibility. 100 remaining. This alert is issued when the ground speed is less than 40 knots and there is less than 100 feet of runway remaining.
The landing flap's callout alerts the pilot of a possible unstable approach due to flap configuration. An initial alert is issued at 950 feet AGL, within 5 nautical miles from the runway if the landing flaps are not set. Flap. Flap. If the aircraft lines up with the runway and descends below 600 feet with the flaps still not set for landing, the alert is issued again. Flap. Flap. If the approach to the runway is continued below 450 and 300 feet AGL, the unstable alert is issued. Unstable, unstable. Giving the pilot enough time to initiate a go around. The excessive approach angle monitor informs the pilot that the aircraft is too high during an approach to a runway. This alert uses a performance envelope that considers various factors such as altitude, vertical speed, distance from the runway, and others to monitor the approach angle. If the approach angle is excessive, an alert will be issued below 950 feet AGL when the landing gear and flaps are set for landing and the aircraft is lined up with the runway within five nautical miles of the runway threshold. Too high, too high. This alert will be issued below 600 feet regardless of the gear or flap setting if the aircraft is too high while aligned with the runway. Too high, too high. If the aircraft remains high, the unstable approach callout will be issued between 450 and 300 feet above the runway, prompting the pilot to initiate a go-around. Unstable, unstable. The excessive approach speed monitor informs the pilot that the aircraft is too fast during an approach to a runway. This alert uses a performance envelope that considers the aircraft type, speed, and position from a runway to determine if the aircraft is too fast on approach. If the aircraft is too fast, an alert will be issued below 950 feet AGL when the landing gear and flaps are set for landing and the aircraft is within 5 nautical miles of the runway threshold. Too fast, too fast. This alert will be issued below 600 feet, regardless of the gear or flap setting, if the aircraft is too fast while aligned with the runway. Too fast, too fast. If the speed remains high, the unstable approach callout will be issued between 450 and 300 feet above the runway. Unstable, unstable. The altimeter monitor alerts the flight crew to the possibility of an incorrectly set altimeter during climbs or descents. An incorrectly set altimeter could result in the loss of separation from aircraft or terrain. For climbs, the altimeter monitor compares the corrected barometric and pressure altitudes after passing through the transition altitude. An alert is issued when a difference of more than 100 feet between the two altitudes is observed. Altimeter setting. For descents, the altimeter monitor compares the corrected altitude with the GPS altitude after descending below the transition level. When a difference is detected that exceeds a computed threshold, an advisory is issued. Altimeter setting. The timing of the alert varies with the aircraft's current height above the field and ISA deviation. As the aircraft descends closer to the field elevation, the threshold to trigger the advisory becomes less. The altimeter monitor is especially useful when conducting approaches with vertical guidance or cold weather conditions. 